wouldn't it be nice to have an AI assistant that was like magic, like voila? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at voila, an AI slash GPT powered tool that follows you around in a good way on your browser and that you can interact with pretty easily. All right, so if you're new here, if you don't know what this is, welcome. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI, you know, how we can grow our companies, grow our career. So if that's you, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for this free daily newsletter. So this is AI in five, where we take about five minutes to look at a different uh, kind of AI tool. So today we're going to be looking at Voila. So Voila uh, they build themselves as an all-in-one AI assistant to create high quality content, improve your writing, brainstorm or research, et cetera. So um, we're going to go over some of the key highlights of this pretty quickly, uh, but you can always go uh, to the website. We'll put it in the description of this video as well. So uh, first things first, uh, there is a free version. So that's good. You can do 250 free requests and then there's different uh, paid versions as well. So uh, if you really want to use this to the max, uh, you, know, you know, you might want to look at the ultimate. Um, so the way that this works is this works as a Chrome extension. And then from the Chrome extension, after you install it, you can set a shortcut key and essentially interact uh, with whatever is on your screen using essentially GPT-4. Uh, so let's actually look uh, how this how this works. So to do that, um, I'm going to go to this episode page. So this is um, on the Everyday AI website. I did a show yesterday on uh, ChatGPT plugins and what's new. So the default way that you can um, talk to Voila is there's a keyboard shortcut, Command M. Uh, or you can always just click the Chrome extension uh, in the upper right-hand corner if you're using Chrome. So I'm going to click Command M, and then we get this. So uh, there's default uh, kind of actions that you can use inside of Voila, or you can just type a full one out. So let's just say uh, summarize this page in a funny way as if you were talking to a pirate, right? Sure. Um, so let's just go ahead just so you can see how this works. And then we're going to go over some of the different options and use cases. All right. So there we go. It says R matey hoist the main sail and blah, blah, blah. Um, so the, the, the interesting thing here. Okay. I think, I think I see, uh, I think I see what I did wrong there. So, Hey, I do these live because I'm, I'm learning along with you. So uh, I'm going to try that one more time. So what I have to do is I have to click the use current page as context, uh, down there. That would probably help. So now I'm going to say, summarize this page as if talking to a group of pirates, there we go. And I'm going to click enter and then you'll see, uh, voila kind of works right there on the page. There we go. All right. So now it's talking like a pirate and it's talking about chat GPT plugins. All right. So simple stuff there. And again, there's literally, I don't know, dozens or hundreds of different uh, Chrome extensions that do something similar, but I do think that there's some unique, um, kind of selling points to this voila system. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. Uh, so now I'm going to go into YouTube and what I like. Uh, so this is, and I always like to, to test these things, right? Um, so this is a YouTube video. There's no, uh, we didn't upload captions, right? Uh, the description is very short. So sometimes these tools, they'll just use the, um, you know, if you're using a tool, uh, like a Chrome extension or something like that to summarize a YouTube video, sometimes it just looks at the, the headline, uh, maybe the description, uh, something like that. So this one doesn't have that. So I'm going to go ahead and this time and click the Chrome extension and then some of the defaults uh, are, it, it knows what page you're on, which I like that. So if I do the same thing on this website here, you'll see the YouTube actions don't come up. But if I'm on YouTube, let me just go ahead and uh, click that again. It brings up those, which is nice because using these tools, it's all about speed and, uh, and efficiency, right? So now I can just click summarize YouTube video. It's going to take a second here. And there we go. So I know that, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Uh, I, I don't know if it looks at the closed captions that YouTube automatically does, uh, but it really gets this correct, which is the most important thing because, you know, here we're talking about the different news pieces for the day. 
Um, so it's it's pretty impressive. And I'm actually going to click uh, close close caption. So yes. this is. I'm not sure, but it does an accurate job. That's all that matters uh, in this regard. So a couple other uh, kind of fun use cases or not fun, but uh, helpful, right? Uh, because I did see, um, I've, I've kind of had my eye on this tool for a while to see if it was going to, you know, become useful or, you know, uh, what it was going to do to be uh, kind of unique. So uh, I did see that they recently added email reply suggestions. So that's great because we spend so much of our time reading and analyzing websites, PDFs, emails, right? So uh, I think a good tool should cover all of those things. So uh, here we go. Let's jump into my spam folder. Uh, so I'm going to click reply. And then I'm going to click the uh, voila button right there. So uh, I use uh, Google Workspace or G Suite, whatever you want to call it, uh, Gmail, essentially. And I can just click that respond, respond with voila. And I can pick the tone, which is nice. So I'm going to say uh, friendly. Sure. And I'm going to say uh, uh, no thanks not interested. And then all I do is hit enter. It says, hold on, I'm on it. All right. So there's a very, very short one. So uh, you can always shorten, simplify or rephrase or even change the tone. So let's just go ahead and change the tone to uh, casual. So there we go. Um, also, you can go up here and change it. Or I can say, kind of interested tell me what makes you unique and what guarantees you have, right? Click enter. So much of people's time, I swear, is finding the right words or how to respond to emails. So uh, there you go. All I can do is click copy and insert and there you go. It's ready to go. Pretty cool. All right. Let's look at maybe one or two uh other things. So one thing I like is you can always go inside the Chrome extensions uh, settings and you can look at preferences, uh, chat history, actions, etc. So you can create your own custom actions, which I like. So I just did this one as an example uh, called summarize informal. So let's go back to that same page. I'm going to click refresh here. I'm going to click the command M and there's, there's my uh, summary that I just made. So I put it in a folder called summary. I can click summarize informal and just click enter. So I just created this, uh, I just created this custom uh, kind of summary. So you can kind of teach voila or, you know, put him a, a custom prompt to get you exactly what you need. So maybe there's, you know, you read long PDFs all day and you're just looking for one very specific thing or, you know, web pages or, you know, something like that. You can use this and kind of create a little custom action to just pull that specific information out of it. So now uh, I have a recap in the way that I asked, uh, you know, voila to make it, which is pretty cool. So while we're here, let's look at some of the different options that we can do. So you can choose the different model. So there's GPT-3.5, there's GPT-4, and then there's something called auto plus web access. So that's essentially querying the web. So the other thing too is, is you can always just launch voila. And like I said, by default, if you want it to talk to the page, you have to click this. But you don't have to. So I could just click this uh, auto plus web access. And then I could say, uh, tell me what happened in November 2023 with open AI and Sam Altman, right? So I can just click that. And presumably what's going to happen here, it's going to search the web for November 2023, open AI and Sam Altman. And there we go. Um, so pretty cool, but let's look at some of the other uh, some of the other options here. So again, you can choose your model right there. I do believe they're they're adding Claude uh, to the um, to the extension pretty soon. This is to give use the current page as context. You can set the output language so you can translate too. So you can get your chat history there, which pops open that uh, which pops open that new window. Uh, your preferences also pops open that new window. Uh, you can speak voice input, which is nice. Um, and then you can kind of move it around the page. So I think this is a pretty, a pretty useful, uh, pretty useful tool. I like specifically being able to create uh, custom actions and to be able to categorize those um, inside of um, folders. So there's a lot more that I probably can get to, but if this was helpful, I hope it was. Make sure to go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five-ish. Thanks, y'all.